Hey guys, welcome back. So here is the new lock screen on my iPhone with the emoji background. And as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning when I actually own it. So that's why I have been using the new iOS system for about five to 10 days. And it has been a quite a pleasant journey uh, when I started using it. So here are the five new hacks and features that I think is super essential to you if you're having an iPhone. That's right, iOS 16 is here. So let's get started. So number one is the brand new lock screen. So this is probably one of the biggest features in iOS 16, which allows you to customize a lot of things. So one of the cool things actually catch my eyes is that you can actually have this 3D wallpaper feeling that hide the clock behind any objectives based on your wallpaper, which is pretty cool, I would say. As you can see, you can add a lot of different wallpapers you want, like emojis for your sleep mode, pure color, architectures, Spider-Man, which is my favorite, and or even if you don't like it, you can just easily swipe up and delete it. Here's one that's absolutely my favorite, which is the Earth. See the green dot right there? That's where you are. And of course, you can even choose the moon and the solar system. Besides that, Apple will never forget about its widget. You can easily add the battery, weather, even your sports tracking, all on the lock screen, and just save it. Of course, you can always add one more wallpaper and customize it based on your focus mode preferences. If you're driving or just don't want to be disturbed at all, it's all there. iOS 16 this time has finally, finally, finally added battery percentage on the screen. So you no longer need to try to understand how much battery you have left over based on the pure status bar. All you need to do is to go to the setting and scroll down to battery section and turn on the battery percentage. Voila. Besides the battery percentage, there's actually one more feature that I really, really enjoy. Let's say you would like to set up a timer for 10 minutes. While you are on the lock screen, there's a timer bar will show up at the bottom, and you can either way pause it or cancel it directly from the lock screen. Another cool thing is that while you are listening to music, either from Apple Music, Spotify, or YouTube Music, the lock screen will put the album at the central spot, and the background color will change based on the music album you switched from. Of course, if you don't want to see it, you can just click it off and the back to the lock screen. Number two is a brand new photo session with iPhone on iOS 16. So I think the best features to highlight here is definitely the smart card out, and also a better privacy features with the deleted photos or your hidden photos section. If you look back at iOS 14 to 15, which Apple starts to allow you to copy and highlight the text from an image that you take. This time, Apple levels up the game. With the smart card out, you select the objective from the photo and just press and hold it and drag and drop to the person that you would like to share with. And it's super easy to send it. No need to mention here that this feature also allows you to do it in the video as well. So thanks to Apple, we no longer need to use any external apps or websites to do this. Another thing is that the delayed photos and the hidden photos section are no longer available to strangers or friends anymore, because it requires your face ID now. Last thing that I forgot to mention is the duplicate session. Since we're all taking thousands of photos every day, I mean, sometimes. Another cool feature in the new photo session is that you can now actually copy paste the editing style that you made before and applies to the, all the rest of the photos that you want. Number three, iOS 16 is now actually allows you to copy your Wi-Fi password directly from the setting. I find that it's actually super useful to use because normally it's really hard to find a Wi-Fi password. It's either way direct from the router or somewhere else. And usually the Wi-Fi password looks like this. So I mean, it's literally impossible for you to share with the others by spelling each numbers, characters, letters, or even symbols. 
So now all you need to do is actually just go to the setting and find the Wi-Fi that you connected before, even the personal hotspot. Click on more information button beside it and use your face ID to unlock the password and copy. Super easy, right? Number four is actually a keyboard haptic feedback. So for me personally, I'm actually a big fan of mechanic keyboard and also I prefer the click feedback. So no matter when it comes to actually physical keyboard or digital keyboard, all you need to do is actually just go to the setting and find the sound and the haptics and you will find the keyboard section over there. There, you can actually turn on the haptic option. So right now, typing on the iPhone, it doesn't really feel like a typing on a flat surface. It now feels like typing with sound together with the actual keyboard, but digitally. Number five, the next generation car digital display. Apple CarPlay will be available next year. Based on the demo provided by Apple, we can see that and can now completely integrate whole car instrument panel display, including customizable layout of speedometer, Apple Maps will be right in front of you while driving, and you can even control the car climate control and more. So what do you think? Will Apple completely shift the default car display experience to now a completely customizable dashboard? Let me know what you think in the comment down below. So there you go. Here are the top five hacks and the features that I think is super essential for you. And if you're using the iPhone or you're going to use the iPhone with iOS 16. Of course, there's so much feature to cover. For example, there's like undo message with iMessage. And also now you can edit it after you send it. And finally, you can schedule email with the mail app developed by Apple. So there's so much things that you can need to, you can discover and trying to learn on iOS 16. And feel free to share with me on Instagram or YouTube in the comment down below. Nevertheless, if you think about the experience that's shifting from iOS 16, 15 to now 16, which you can see that there are always a keywords to highlight here is customization. So I'm very curious to see on iOS 17, what else and what more can we create this customization experience on iOS or even iPhone? So we'll see about that. Anyway, if you like this video and would like to support me, feel free to click on the like button and the subscribe button for me. That what means a lot to me. And then right now, we're actually preparing the video for iPhone 14 and the AirPods Pro for the second generation. So if you don't want to miss out, feel free to press on the bell button for instant notification when the video is live. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace out.